mom's gonna let you wear your new cape of power to the dance? Of course. She's cool. Hm. I can't believe that some people would wear a vampire cape to a school dance. Well, she doesn't exactly know about it yet. But she won't mind. I know I never would. I'm wearing my new dress. It's an original Rudolfo Vlim skimmer. I was gonna wear my Zapman suit. But I may have to wear the outfit my mother bought me instead. Good morning, class. <gasps> Why, thank you, George. Wee! <laughs> oh, how sweet. Has she gone bonkers? What happened to her hair? I don't think hot pink is a very good color for her. Isn't it a lovely day? I don't think we'll be needing these lesson plans today. Let's do something different, shall we? Let's just go wild! Oh. Hmm. I can't believe she made us sing all morning long. Well, I can't believe she threw out our math quizzes because no one did well on them. What's with her? Maybe she's got the flu. No, it's worse than that. Pneumonia? No, there's something very powerful. I just don't know what yet. Maybe an evil sorcerer came to the door. Can I interest you in an encyclopedia? Only it wasn't an encyclopedia at all. It was a black magic book, and he put a spell on her. No, this doesn't seem like the work of a sorcerer. I know what happened. A spaceship came down. And replaced the real Moscato. With an alien double! No, there was no hypermagnetic dust in the area. The usual sign that an alien's been round. <laughs> Miss Gatto? <laughs> There's something really scary going on. <sighs> Me? Nothing's too good for my little sweetums. I want to treat you like a princess. I'll carry that. We can't have you hurting yourself on the thorns, can we? I'm so glad that you can accompany me to the fundraising dance at the school tonight. I know you cardiologists have such busy schedules. Ah, but never too busy for a beauty as radiant as you, Buttercup. What's a cardiologist? A heart doctor. Yes, nurse. Hmm? We can't wait. It's a matter of life and death. Is it serious? Will you have to operate? Serious? It's a disaster. The golf club wants to push back my tee-off time tomorrow until 11 o'clock. Oh, golf. Uh, I've always thought it was a fascinating game. Golf? She hates golf. Well, I must say that this has been loads of fun. But a doctor's work is never done. Shall we, sugar knees? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Gatto's in real trouble. This calls for an investigation. Must be his office. Hmm, snakes, a wax doll, a skull. It's him! <gasps> Who's him? Voodoo. Voodoo? Dr. Voodoo. The most powerful and most evil of all the Voodoo chiefs. <laughs> I've got you in my power now, Madeline Gatto. You're mine. All mine. 
<laughs> oh no, we're too late! He's stolen Miss Gato's heart and made her his zombie thrall. We have to release her from his spell. Mona? Look what I bought for you to wear to the dance tonight. Not crazy about it, are you? It's nice. But I've got to wear my new vampire cape of power, because Fang and I... Mona, cats can't dance. Fang stays home. <laughs> and you are definitely not wearing your vampire costume to a school dance. Mona, Charlie's here. Hey, Charlie, great tie. I appreciate your taking the kids to the dance. I owe you one. Oh, don't worry. My pleasure. Mona. <gasps> Mona? But, Mom, how am I going to be able to fight Dr. Voodoo if I don't have at least some of my vampire stuff? I'm sure Dr. Voodoo will be on his best behavior tonight. And so will you. Understand? Come along now. Goodbye. Have a great time. Connie Meyer said his name was Vincent. <laughs> oh, don't they look sweet? Sweet? He stole Miss Gatto's heart! Isn't that romantic? She's a little slow sometimes. If we don't break the spell soon, Miss Gatto will be lost forever! Follow me. Surprise is our only hope. <sighs> well, Cinnamon Lips. I suppose you want to dance with me? I must say, Madeline seems like a completely different person. Yes. She seems completely enthralled, doesn't she? We may be too late! <laughs> That was thirsty work. Would you like some punch, honey pie? Oh, yes, I'd love some. Would you get me one, too, while you're at it? Now's my chance. Hugga, hugga, plugga, plugga, hugga, hugga, chugga, chugga, wugga, 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 blah, blah, cha, cha, hugga, hugga, wugga, chugga, 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 I'm afraid my dance card is full. Don't you have anything better to do, kid? <laughs> Your power is dressed like that. What do you plan to do? Kick me with your party shoes. Miss Gotto is mine. All mine. She's totally under my spell. <laughs> I may not have my vampire stuff with me, but I don't need it to beat you. All I need is my dance of power. Oh, this child needs therapy. She's merely trying to express herself with her dance. Honestly, Madeline, I don't know how you can stand being with these brats all day long. It's time you found a new profession. No, it's time I found a new boyfriend. This relationship isn't working. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. But bunny toes. <laughs> Thanks, Fang, but I didn't need the cape after all. 
I guess it's not the clothes that make the vampire. It's good old-fashioned vampire heart. I hear Madeline Gatto broke up with Dr. Vincent. Really? I thought she was completely enthralled by him. She was a thrall because he stole her heart. Well, these things happen. But she got it back. As they say, the course of true love. Anything, and this is the last time we eat ice cream in the car. Thanks for bringing us to the drive-in. Jane Eyre and Arugula, the plant from outer space, were the ultimate 3D experience. Right, Fang? What's that? Goings on at the all-night laundromat. Hey, isn't that Mrs. Brierson? I tell you, I'm not crazy. I know what I saw. It was a pair of ghostly dancing <laughs> underpants. Did you hear that? A pair of ghostly underpants. Uh-oh. Hey, Mom, can I go question Mrs. Bryerson about that ghouly pair of underwear she saw last night? I'm afraid not, honey. Mrs. Bryerson isn't going to live next door anymore. I tell you, I'm not crazy. I know what I saw. That underwear was dancing with no one in them. That's Mrs. Bryerson's son. He's putting his mother in a retirement home because he, um, feels it would be better if someone looked after her. You mean, he thinks she's cuckoo? Well, I wouldn't go so far as to say, yes, he thinks she's cuckoo. And while he settles things here, we'll be taking care of a little guest. Now, let's all try and get along. <coughs> Aren't they cute? They're playing together. <laughs> I've got to get to the bottom of this mystery, for both Mrs. Bryerson and Blitzy's sake. Okay, let me do the talking. Ahem. Ahem. Hiya, we're here to visit our Nana, Mrs. Bryerson. Oh, I'm sorry. Your grandmother had a very tiring night and really shouldn't see visitors today. Oh, Nana. Birthday? Why, that changes everything. The receptionist said we'd probably find her in the rec room. Poor Mrs. Bryerson, stuck playing bridge and shuffleboard with the rest of the old pe. Hey, Mom! Corner pocket! Come by whenever you want a rematch. Charlie Lily, what are you doing here? We came by to find out about your experience with the otherworldly anomaly. You mean the dancing ghostly underpants? Whatever you want to call it. They all think I'm crazy. Even my own son. Oh, we believe you, Mrs. Bryerson. If only one of Blitzy's chew toys hadn't gotten stuck in my deluxe washer matting. I never would have had to go to the laundry mat, and this never would have happened to me. Did the spirit underwear threaten you in any way? No, no. They simply popped up and danced around. A dancing underpants goo. What in the Sam Hill? Are you people crazy? My birthday's in October. Okay, we have to help Mrs. Bryerson. But first, we've got a dancing underpants ghoulie to bust. <laughs> I think your volunteering to do your own laundry is great. 
But are you sure you don't want me to come with you? Don't worry, Mom. Everything's under control. Okay, then. See you in an hour. All right. Which one of you guys has done laundry before? Not me. I once helped my dad carry his suits to the dry cleaner. Great! It's all yours, Charlie. Hey, aren't we supposed to be separating whites and colors? That's what they do on commercials. Lily, don't believe everything you see on TV. Hey, where's Fang? Sorry, Fang. Let the underpants ghoulie busting begin. Search everywhere. Where's that sound coming from? There! There's something inside the pipe! It's disappeared. Don't let him get away! Change the station! Can that ghoulie dance? There! Quick! Run through the rinse! Now into my specially designed ghoulie prison box. Mission accomplished! All we have to do now is grab our laundry and head home. Uh-oh. About our laundry? And what did you and your friends do this weekend, Mona? We did our own laundry. And we caught a dancing underpants ghoulie. Mona, put that thing where it belongs. The Museum of Paranormal Objects? Your locker. Oh. You know, Fang, that's the problem with grown-ups today. No respect for the unknown. Hey! Dancing Underpants Ghoulie to rest. There's a name on the waistband. Arnold Gottlieb. Why, he was the former owner of the laundromat. He passed away over ten years ago. Any reason why his spirit would be dancing around the world of the living? Revenge? Unrequited love? An unfulfilled desire? Well, now that you mention it, Arnie had a lifelong dream he never fully realized. He always wanted to dance in a Broadway musical. Mrs. Bryerson, guard the underpants. We're gonna grab some seance stuff and be right back. We're almost ready to begin. Only one remains to complete the circle. Who's that? Jiffy Nail Express! You send it, we try not to bend it. Come on in, grab a seat, and hold hands. Okay, but I'm double parked. This won't take long. Woogle dee, doogle dee, pudding. I pie. really don't see what we hope to accomplish. Quiet, Harold. I see him. It's Arnold Gottlieb. Arnold Gottlieb, can you hear me? Sure can. How's the afterlife been treating you? Can't complain. Except for the fact that I don't get it as much dancing as I used to. Is there anything you want to ask him while he's here? Yes. When he was alive, he used to make the most marvelous lemon meringue pie. What was his secret? Mrs. Bryerson is here with me. She wants to know... I heard her, I heard her. The secret to my lemon meringue was the crust. No eggs, just water, batter, lard, and salt. Hey, ask him if he's seen my first dog, Fluffy. Huh? Put my spirit to rest! Put my spirit to rest! Put my spirit to rest! All right, all right, I heard you the first time! Uh. Well, Mother, I, I guess now I see how a pair of underwear blown about by the wind could have led you to believe you'd seen a dancing ghost. Wind? The windows are closed. 
Right. Anyway, I'll talk to the nurse and have you out of here within the hour. Hey, these underpants weren't really dancing. Somebody attached an invisible fishing wire to the waistband. Well, it worked, didn't it? I'm going back home. Uh, do you guys still need me? Yes. We need you to deliver a restless spirit to its final resting place. Boy, this has got to be the second weirdest thing I've ever delivered. I want to thank you all for helping me out. First, by helping me prove that I wasn't crazy. And second, for helping me with my laundry. Well, things didn't exactly work out as planned. No one believes it was a dancing underpants, Ghoulie. Yeah. Officer Howcroft said it was nothing but an old pair of underwear stuck in the ventilation system that finally got blown up through a floor vent. Well, at least Arnold Gottlieb's spirit is finally at rest. Package for Broadway!